So, thought I'd shoot a little video on the actual building of the drag slash sleeper truck, rocket powered, while I have it taken apart. Doing a little bit of work to it today, this morning. Um, start off with the camper shell. Here's the camper shell. Um, pretty cool, built pretty durable, pretty solid. Once you put all the screws in it and get it together, it's, it's pretty tough. Here's the rocket engines, the dual F-15s, right there, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Um, I've taken and mounted it. I used, I don't know if you can see it, I used aluminum C-channel. You can pick up at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot. It's made to go over the ends of plywood and give you a hard clean edge on the edge of plywood for a finished edge. So I just cut them to fit and I actually bolted them through the camper shell. They're mounted there, 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 and there. And then to those I mounted the actual rocket engine mount. Um, it goes through, I threaded the aluminum and then put a nut on the inside of the channel just like I have here. This is threaded and then a nut to retain it to keep it in place uh, and then of course here's the actual mount that came with the rockets uh, the front one when the rockets apart pre-build uh, it has a cover right here and I actually put a screw through it down into here and bolted it in and then you can put it together before it's mounted in I should have videoed that. I did not, though. So, here's the tin I put on the door instead of the Lexan plexiglass stuff it came with. And then I added a bit of a deflector to it to keep the heat off of it. As you can see, it moves pretty easy. No big deal. And then, uh, see, it functions on this servo. I hooked to the third channel of my five-channel radio. Just like that, works pretty good, opens it pretty smooth, and with the four degree angle on the uh, rockets, it's got a four degree below horizon when it's mounted on the truck. And with that angle, it should do pretty good. We'll find out in the test fire coming up soon, after I get it put back together, of course. And then I wanted to show you that besides the servo, and the rocket here on my channels. This, this servo is on the third channel to operate the door. The rocket goes on actually the fifth channel. Got it marked rocket here somewhere. Yeah, rocket. It goes on the fifth channel, which would be this one on the truck that also says rocket. And then on the fourth channel, I have what says light. And this is the fourth and fifth channel. This is off or neutral position. That's the light position. That's the rocket firing position right there. So when the light's on, see, you can see that activate and turn red. The rocket one turns red when it fires. But when that's on, it actually, I put a 8 millimeter white LED. See, here's the bottom of the body in the truck. And it comes out and actually shines right here. So when the camper shell's on, that'll light up the inside because it's hard to get to them body pins with the camper shell on. In fact, I'll give you an idea how hard it is by showing you this is sort of what I have right now to get in there. It's a body clip on a skewer and I come in, oh yeah, and there's my metal. I forgot to show you the tin I put on the tailgate to deflect any heat that might hit there and it's actually double it's hard to show you but it's actually doubled up to help uh, deflect the heat but when the camper shells on you have to use these sticks slide the pin into the body post and when it clicks in the pin actually slides down flush with the body and stays there so anyways I'll get it back together and I probably show the pins in another video with the inside light so, thanks for checking it out for now.